what's going on? It's your girl Raquel, and I'm back, y'all, with another video. Hey, too, fam. It's your girl Raquel, and I'm back with another video. I have my little Sephora haul here with you guys from the Sephora sale, and uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is back there. <laughs> okay, guys, how y'all doing? How y'all been? I'm back with another video. I know somebody wondering what's on my eyes. And it's the Ciate London palette. I did go ahead and use it today, and it's just as good as the Essentials 2 palette. So, watch it, y'all. They rock out, y'all. Yeah, they rock out. So, let me just share with you guys what this video is about. All the things I picked up from Sephora during the sale. I did get a couple of these boxes. Well, one. I ordered before the sale. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. I just kind of put it in the corner. And the other two came... One came after the sale, and then I placed one before I knew about the sale. So I got to use the, the coupon code one time online, and then I went in store yesterday because uh, it was something I had to get. I just had to get it. But before we jump into that stuff, let me share with you guys um, a couple items. What did I do with them? Oh, here they go. Okay. That I got sent to me uh, by Octoly and Fresh. I got the Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. And this did come from Fresh and Octoly. If I didn't say that. Let me open this up. This is um, Petal Soft Lip Cream. And I can't read that. I'll let y'all see. Because <laughs> it looks like it's French. So I can't say what's under there. But yeah, I'm excited about this little lip cream. Ooh, it smells just like a rose because I'm looking for something I don't know I have so many other Laneige and you know how we are oh it feels like it feels like a little oil kind of like I don't know Vaseline I'm, I don't think of anything else to say y'all see how I'm shining right there but I like the way it smells and I do love fresh products so I'm happy to try that out and the next thing we have here is the Fresh Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. And y'all know I've been working on my face. I'm trying to get all my spots and dots cleared out and looking juicy, juicy young. <laughs> Close to it anyway, you know, fresh and revived. Oh, wow. This is a two-tone cream sleeping mask. Ooh, I like the idea of that, even if I don't know what all the two sides are about. Let me see if I can, okay, replenish and lock in hydration. Okay, all right, all right. Let me see if I can read this. You know what, let me go grab my post. Okay guys, now I can see. Don't, don't talk about me and don't judge me. Okay, it says <laughs> fresh rose hydration sleeping mask instantly drenches skin with moisture um, lost during the day and locks it in overnight for a look that's refreshed, plump, and dewy in the morning. Okay. Replenish skin moisture with the cooling gel essence packed with rose water to help comfort uh, rose demosinca flower extract to help smooth and hydrolonic acid to help enhance suppleness and plumping effect. Lock in hydration with a silky water cream mask powered by time release liquid patches and evening prime rose extract. Ooh, girl, that sounds good. That sounds good. So I'm assuming you put the clear mask on first and then you go back in with the, you put the gel mask on oh, it smells like fresh roses. I had to smell it again. You put the gel mask on first and then you go on top of it with the cream mask. So yes, this will be going in my rotation. And y'all, I still got to get my skincare box up. And it's coming, guys. It's coming. Okay. And the next thing I got um, from Oxley came from Clarence. And we ain't going to even discuss this. We know Clarence is one of my favorite skincare items. We actually got one of these in the uh, BoxyCharm box this month. And uh I like this color here. The shade I got in box from BoxyCharm is uh, the Velvet Lip Perfector. 
um, I don't know the shade, I forgot, but it was a real pretty rose matte color, and I like it, I like it, I didn't think it would match, so I had already ordered this one from Oxley and Clarence, and uh, I didn't know I was going to get it, so I got it, didn't know I was going to get that one, so I'm happy to have it after I tried the first one, but this shade has a bit of color, oh, I like that one too, that's what it looks like. I like these. These are really nice and really easy to use. So these will be going in my purse because they take no effort. Thank you, Clarence, and thank you, Oxley and Fresh for sending that stuff over. Now, y'all, let's jump into this Sephora stuff. What I went into store for yesterday. But let me just tell y'all, if y'all have not been into Sephora since they reopened, they got all kinds of gift bags. I was trying to give me a credit card. I wasn't going. I was not going. If I'd have got that credit card, I'd been broke. Couldn't pay nothing for paying Sephora. So, no. And the gift bag was so full and packed. It was so, whew. But I said no. Y'all give me a clap. Pat on the back. I didn't do it. But they are giving out birthday gifts for the months. I mean, for the whole year. If you missed the earlier months or if you just missed it because you didn't go on Sephora, they're giving you your birthday gifts. Mine was all the way in January, y'all. And she was like, well, you still can get it because the stores was closed and because of the coronavirus. I was like, okay, what do you want? <laughs> and, of course, I have so many of these because I actually do like them, but I actually do have too many. But you can't never have too much lotion to smell good, you know? So it was between this and some little small sample makeup items that I don't remember what they were. That's how uninterested I was in, in them. So, yeah. Thank you, Sephora, for my birthday gift. Even though I didn't get in store in time to get it, I thank you for upholding that. And then the next thing I got, what I went to Sephora, it was a mall, um, Stonebriar Mall, I think I went to, was to get this, y'all. I have been seeing the reviews on this Charlotte Tearberry Flawless, what does it say, Flawless Setting Spray. It says, party all night, stay all day. And the reviews have been so good. I have been, y'all. Let me tell you, the video I watched, she sprayed her face. And then she took a white napkin and touched her face. And her makeup did not move. I was sold. There was nothing on the white napkin. And I was, I wish I had one because I would repeat her steps. I'm going to use this. I wish I remember who it was. It was somebody on my channel, and I just went over to watch her videos, and this is what she was. I cannot remember her name. Girl, I'm sorry if you see this. I apologize, but thank you for helping me to this. I cannot remember her name. And it doesn't think stink. It's not strong. I almost didn't get it because I just grabbed this Hue to Beauty one a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know. We're going to see. I will update you guys on this. And we can do a test on it on camera if you want to. But I had to get it. I had to get it. Makeup don't move, y'all. You know you're rocking a mask everywhere you go. So, yes, that was a must-have. And the last thing I got while I was in store was one of these Tom Ford uh, Boys and Girls lipsticks. I actually ordered one online. It was only one in stock. I don't know what shade it is. I just know I have no Tom Ford in my collection. I just don't. You know, I just don't. A little expensive. And most of the time, expensive shit stuff just does not perform as well as your, you know, on a lower level of cost. You know, so I wasn't going to do it. But when the, I saw these little babies on sale for $18, I was like, yes. And this is, what shade is this? Godly. Um, lip color Rouge Laverge. I don't know. I can't see what shade that is. And y'all can tell I don't like them readers at all. Uh, Sterling. 07 Sterling. And that's what it looks like. Yes, I'm getting fall ready early. I sure am. Oh, it's got a little Tom Ford in there. These little babies were $36. And you know what they feel like to me? They feel like the little sample lipsticks. I would hate to see a sample from Tom Ford. Because these, oh, that's real smooth. That's the shade right there. That's what it looks like. I like that. 
That is pretty. I might have to go back and get a couple of these. $18, okay. I think they were like 36 original, but that's how tiny it is. Let me grab a... Okay, like my... It's about the size of my sample Pat McGrath. You know, the, the, the minis. Okay, boys and girls, I'll take it. I got Tom Ford in my collection. Okay, then that was all I picked up from the store. Now, I don't know what's in these boxes, but we can just go from box to box, okay? Let me open these up. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't know what's in, you know what I mean. I don't know what's in which box. Here we go. Tom Ford must be calling me. He must be going to bring something out that I like. This is a Tom Ford cologne sample. Okay, but I ain't gonna be, I ain't got, uh-uh. Tom Ford take too much out of my kitty. I like to buy a lot of stuff. Tom Ford, man, that's my cart. That's my weekly, that don't smell too good. Ombre leather, that's exactly what it smells like. Can you imagine getting in a brand new car, a leather car with that leather smell? That's what this smell like. And then I got one of this Prime Rose Secret Genius. I don't know. I guess it's another perfume sample. I'm already smelling like leather, so I'm going to let that one ride. Okay, now in the box. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got this. I got the Brow Micro um, Blading Pen by Benefit. I really wanted to try this. This was, I was intrigued. I was because it's so many of these been done, but for Benefit to do it, I really, really wanted to try it. That's what it looks like. Let's see how these strokes look. Am I going to be able to do this? Or is this even dark enough? I don't know. It looks like it might be light enough for like right at the beginning of my brows. But I can't even see the look. I ain't going to knock it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a try and I will let you guys know. I got my brows so dark today. If we try, we could, let's see if we can even see it. Will it even show up on me? No, everything ain't for me, but I'm always trying to make it be for me. I don't know about that, y'all. I'm going to play with it and see. I'm going to play with it and see. It might be okay. Because sometimes I be wearing my brows too darn dark in the beginning, in the first place, so... Maybe that'll help me with that issue. It don't look as bad when I look back at it. Okay. The next thing. Oh, wow. Nobody must like this stuff because they gave me two of these Tom Ford leathers. I mean, it just smell like brand new leather. Or like you're in a woodworking shop and you can smell it fresh leather. That, that's what it, fresh leather, that's what it smell like. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. And here's my other Tom Ford lipstick, the one that I ordered online. Y'all, it was this is the only one that was there, and I hurried up and checked out. So don't judge me for the color, because I was not being color conscious. It says the shade is called Ivy. Oh, that is pretty. Wait a minute. How come it always got some makeup on it already? Right here. Okay, maybe that didn't come off my hand. I don't have makeup on my hands yet. Can y'all see that? Okay, we ain't seen the bullet. But I like that it's white. I like that. Okay, I'm Tom Ford bougie, y'all. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the bullet is still new. I'm happy. And it's an orange. Yes, I said orange. <laughs> y'all know I love orange. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was going to be a bright orange or old stale orange. Okay, I'm happy. That's something I can rock with my brown liner. I'm happy. Okay, I got two of these little Tom Ford lippies. Now I'm bougie for real, y'all. I am bougie. <laughs> I'm going to use them very sparingly because I will not be going back with the full size. Hmm. Okay, guys, the next thing I have in here, oh, I forgot, is the Dior Forever Concealer. I have the foundation, but I never got the Forever Skin Correct. That's what it's called. I never picked up the concealer. So, and I think this is a new concealer. 
Yeah, it is. I remember now that is huge. That is really big. And I hope I got the right shade. I have, uh, what does it say? 5N. It looks like it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. And I saw so many reviews about this concealer. I think it's going to be my skin tone, and that's fine. If you can smooth out my, it's right here, right there. If you can smooth out my under eyes, because if y'all can see, I got them little folds and little, you know, wrinkles under my eyes. So if this can smooth it out without settling inside those lines, like my foundation, I mean my concealer is today, I'm happy. So I really had to try this, and again, the reviews were really, really good. And the last thing in this box is a replacement item. I had to go ahead and order this because mine over here, my Charlotte Tilbury powder is in number three. And they came out with a new shade in number four. So I really want to try it. Let me show y'all what mine look like. And again, you can tell when it's something that I like because I never hit pan on stuff. If I hit pan on it, you better believe it's good, and I, I'm really loving it. This is the Airbrush Polish Finish, and again, it's in number four. Ah, these look, are they different, or are they same? Yeah, mine's just dirty. Oh, my bad. <laughs> they <That's> same. <laughs> Let's see what this powder looks like. Oh, it looks nice. Okay. It's not a lot darker. But you can tell it's definitely a little darker than number three. And I'm thinking it will do just fine as an all over face powder. Let's check it out, y'all. Y'all know I can't open nothing without using it, so bear with me. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Ooh. Girl, I look airbrushed already. Oh my goodness. I need to go back and order another one of these. I need to get two more of these. Okay, I'm running out. But look at that. That powder is the business. Uh, okay, I'm good. This is all I need. This is all I need. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right, Charlotte Terry, I see you. And somebody asked me to try some more. Who was it? Twins plus two? Or twins? Twin mom two? You know who you are, girl. And I'm with you. We're going to have to try us some more Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I am already, I'm over here on the sprung mode. Okay? That powder and that setting spray. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to get some more Charlotte Tilbury. Let's move on to the next box, guys. Okay, guys, the first thing I have in this next box is the Pat McGrath new, uh, is it Rose Decadence? What's the name of this? Yeah, Rose Decadence. That's the name of it. I did get the the last Pat McGrath, was, was it the Rose 2 palette? But it was a lot of shimmer, so that's what kind of had me go ahead and get, ooh, this is beautiful. Get this one so I would have some. A few more mattes to go with it. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy I got it. And I'm glad it's not made like her original palettes. Those that open up trifold like. I like this. Oh, I didn't show it to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what the palette looks like. That is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I just got to try this gold. And they feel just like some butter. Butter. Her. Ooh, let's try the rose. Just one more. Let me get some more of that. I ain't want to dig my finger in it. Okay. All right. All right. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Y'all know it's coming to get ready with me again. Y'all be ready for me now because I got to do this. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay. All right. I can't see the name, so I ain't even going to take y'all through me straining trying to see what the name of these shadows are. But this is what this beautiful palette looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay. The next thing I have in this box. Oh, more perfume. Oh, Spice Bomb. Since I'm already smelling like leather, I got to, you know, I might as well put some of this on to get that. 
that leather smell off of me. Oh, no. I think that's men's. Okay, I'm only going to Walmart, so I'm not going to stress. But I'm going to be one funky sister up in Walmart. For real. Okay, the next thing in here. Oh, yeah, I remember I ordered this and I forgot about it. This is uh, the magnetic 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 plate for those Sephora brushes that came out that can stick to this. That's what this is. And that's not why I ordered it. I ordered it for a foundation plate. I figured it would work just as good. And I think it was on sale for like six bucks. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that. I don't need to be magnetized. But what I do want it for is to put my foundation on. I have a foundation plate here. But when it's dirty, I have to go grab, you know, something. I put it on the back of my hand. So, yeah, this works. And it almost feels like glass. And it's six bucks. I might go back and get another one before they all sold out. Because that just makes it so much easier. And the last thing. Oh, another foundation. I mean, another perfume. They hooking me up. I, I might as well, y'all. Okay, I didn't do that. Because I'm going to be running people out the store. And the last thing I got in here is I ordered me another one of these sets. I, I absolutely love these. I just do. I do. Uh, I have one of these already in my bathroom and I forgot to order the, the wipes. I went back and ordered another set of wipes because y'all, let me tell y'all, these sheets in here, man, they got towel status. They have towel status. Let me open it up so y'all can see. This, this out of the whole collection, the only two things I wanted from Patrick Star latest collection was these wipes and I didn't I ain't gonna lie to y'all I didn't want the wipes because they a little bit too expensive for my blood but once I saw somebody use them and how big they were and kind of like towels I was excited and then I'm gonna use this one it won't hurt it let me show y'all with my whole face and you think about putting a uh, Clinique Take off the day was my favorite, but you have to stick your hand in it. With this, you just spray your face and wipe it off. Y'all, I'm hooked. I am hooked. These one size wipes and spray is off the chain. They are so nice. And I just go like this and I wipe my face. I have been using my uh, just regular wipes because I had ran out of, uh, well, I didn't run out. I'm about to lie. I never bought these. I passed on them because of the price. But when I saw the size, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. But anyway, I've been using my regular wipes with my other spray. But now I got these wipes. I'm happy. If I can use one a day. How many did you get? Um, oh, shoots. I probably won't rebuy these, y'all. Because I thought it was more than that. But it's only 21 wipes in here. So that's not even a full month. I should have read that, even though they you have to cut them in half, and then you back down to the same size. So, yeah. But I will keep buying this spray, because this spray is it, it's just like your Clinique take off the day. You have to get form. Instead of digging your hand in there, you can just spray your face. And if you don't like oil, you won't like it. But if you don't mind the oil, y'all see, it just take whatever right off. Right off. So, yeah. Damn. I hate these wipes. I should have read that, but I probably still would have got them to share that with you guys. Okay, let's get into the next box. This is the last box from Sephora, and I will not be back at Sephora until the next sale. I'm holding off from that. See, they still trying to get you to get that Sephora card. Don't do it, especially if you're a junkie like me. Don't do it. Don't do it. They'll have your cereal, your Cheerio money. I'm just saying. I know they'll have mine. Ha ha, I got a Republica perfume. Replica. Ooh. This is in Beach Walk. Dang it. See, I almost I almost bought those samples because I want to get one of these. I just don't know which one I want. And I want to get one that comes smelling like that leather. Ooh, that smells good. Beach Walk. Okay, I think I know which one I want now. I think I know. 
Okay, I'm just trying to get rid of the leather, y'all. That's all. <laughs> just okay, okay. The first thing I see in here, another spice bomb. Dang it. Okay, let me get rid of that. Oh, I got some Sephora uh, brand stuff. That's what I got. This is Sephora Nigant Solid Multi-Use All-Over Cleanser. And it's just a soap. It was $4. And you know Sephora has that clean section. So I got... I'm trying to see. Face and body. That's what it says. A face and body massage. And I got the one in Cactus. The reviews was really good. Ooh, that smells good. So I'm going to put it by the tub and use it for body. More than likely not my face. Oh, that smells really good. Okay. Massage, cactus, face, and body. I was trying to remember what it said was in it online, but I can't see it. It has some really good ingredients, y'all. And it's supposed to be for hydration, to really hydrate your skin. And I also got the Sephora Cactus Foot Mask. Yes, to get them dogs from bark and make them super soft so they can meow a little bit. <laughs> and then I got the cucumber uh, hands mask. So yeah, that's going to be a pamper day for mama. Yes, that's going to be this Saturday. Yes, yes. Um, the next thing I got here. Oh. Oh, I know what this is. They had the sample of the Laura Mercier uh, powder. Y'all, I didn't get no powder. I just refuse to buy powder because I have, it's an obsession. Did y'all see it instantly made me feel a little bit sad to talk about it. I got at least 20 or 30 powders from Too Faced to Laura Mercier to Kathleen D to, um, I'll show you. Hold on. Let's, let's check out this. I'll show you. Let's see what this looks like. I want to know how this look. I didn't want to just go buy the big thing and then it's just, it's not for me. And I'm stuck with another powder because I don't like taking stuff back. Oh, shoot. I should have got it. The color is really good. It look a little dull. Or maybe I'll get it at the sale. And I'll just use this little baby one while I can. But let me show y'all. This is my powder collection. And what's not in here is right in front of me, y'all. It's in front of me on this table. That's too much powder. But I think I want this powder. But I'm going to hold out until the sale. Let me quit talking so much. Let's keep moving. The next thing I have in here is the Gucci. The hype was real on this. And it wasn't just the hype, y'all. It's the packaging on this Gucci bronzer. It was so beautiful. I want this. You see how I'm holding it like it's petite? And it is. It is. I want this in my purse and all its glory and beauty. That is so stinking cute. I had to have this. I just had to have it. Now look at me. Don't even know how to open it. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is, oh, it has a little brush under the bottom. This is my first uh, Gucci item. Not that I needed another brush. Y'all, it's compact. I mean, another bronzer. This compact. This com I thought the Charlotte Tilbury, this Gucci, man. It don't really smell like anything. Y'all know I got to see what the bronzer do. I got to see. This little feather brush might not be going to get it. We might need to get a heavier, a little heavier brush. I just want to see, is it going to do anything for the cost of it? Oh, it's going to do some. Oh, yeah, I can see that. It's a little darker than my Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I'm good. I'm Gucci. As the kids say, I am Gucci. As long as it show up on my face, I ain't mad at it. And I can put this in my bag and be just as bougie as I want to be. Okay. Okay, Gucci. You, you're doing some things over there. Thank you for this. And I highly appreciate you for making my shade for once. I appreciate it.
Uh, the next thing I have in here, guys, is this uh, Kevin Aquan Skin Sensuals. Now, I had ordered one of these. I had it for about three years. And it was in 14. And after three years, I hardly ever used it. So I just threw it away and I ordered me another one. This is the Kevin Aquan, Kevin Aquan uh, Skin Essentials. What it is, is a concealer. And I got this one in shade 13. It's a little lighter than 14, so I'm hoping it will work. Yeah, that's going to work for me. That's going to work for me. The other one, it had a lot of red in it. And these things, y'all, will last you forever and a day. I'm telling you, I had the other one for at least three years. So I'm happy to have this back into my collection. And the last item that I got from Sephora is this... Um, Dahlia Divine by Givenchy. Y'all hear me? Givenchy. Givenchy. <laughs> I had to get this foundation, y'all. Tell y'all why. I have no idea, no clue what it smells like. But it was at Sephora in the in the sale aisle, and it was Givenchy. <laughs> so, and I have not tried a Givenchy perfume. And y'all know I'm a perfume. I'm just all things beauty. I was going to say a perfume connoisseur. I couldn't make up my mind which one to get. Do I get this one? Do I get the new Marc Jacobs? And this one was on sale. So I got this one. And I'm, I am I got to spray some more perfume. I just got to. Because I have to know what this smells like. This bottle was calling me. It is beautiful. Oh, please, Father God, let it smell like what it, I think it looked like. Okay, Lord, I want to raise my prayer on the perfume. It can be stinking. I take that back. Okay, let's see, y'all. Let's see what it smells like. Let's see. It's not a really sweet smell. It's, um, it's like slow and low. It's not loud. It don't, it, I don't know. I'm going to have to walk around in it. I'm going to have to walk around in this mess for a minute and see what it smells like. Because I right now, I can just smell that leather. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to put you over there in a little cone so I can play with you some more and see if you, something that I would like. You know, I spray too many perfumes. Okay, y'all, I know this video is getting kind of long. But I didn't want to come back and do two. So we're just going to go through this little altar box really quick. And um, see what we're working with. It should, I don't think it's that much stuff in this that I ordered from Ulta. There is one thing that I'm waiting to get from Ulta. And I really do want that black eyeliner from Nabla Cosmetics. I really want that. I want that really bad. But it's out of stock. It was in stock the night I was looking and I was going to get it. And I said, you know what? I'll just order this stuff in the morning. Shipping's going to take forever. And I should not have done that. When I did that, it went out of stock. And it's been out for about a week now. About a week and a half. I really want that. But anyway, let's just run through this box real quick. Okay, guys? I got this um, bath blend hydrating foam, um, hydrating bath foam by The Body Shop. This is in, uh, what is it? Mango. This was new to the body shop. And I was like, let me try that. Because I like a lot of their items. And this looks really, really thick. Let me see. Oh, it smells just like a mango. And it is. Can y'all see that? It's super thick. So this might be really good. This might be really good. Okay, this is going on my pamper day. I'm telling y'all, I was getting ready to be pampered for real. And then I got this uh, avocado leave-in conditioner. Um, this is hair care. It, this is, let me tell y'all, it's not tested on animals. It's not animal derived. It's paraben free. It's sulfate free. It's made in the USA and from natural for you. That's why I got this because it was a natural line. I know I got two items from this line. And, uh... Which one is this? The avocado leave-in conditioner. Yes, I really wanted to try that. Y'all know 
between makeup and hair. That's what I'm forever working on, trying to get it together. And here is the, this is the, what is the name of this company? It looks like Ann, I can't tell y'all. Ann Lux, uh, AI Lux Avocado Hair Mask. This is Restore, Repair, and Moisture. So this is a, a deep moisturizer. So I got a leave-in conditioner and an avocado Restore, Repair, Moisture. I'm thinking this is a, yeah, it is. It's a hair mask. And it's the same thing. Not testing on animals, paraben free. Um, made in the USA. Sulfate free. It says apply to damp hair working through scalp. Leave on for 10 minutes. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to be because it's avocado. I thought it was going to probably be green, but it's just a white hair mask. Leave in for 10 minutes, and I'll let you guys know. It was new on Ulta, and anything healthy on my hair, I really want to try it. Uh, the next thing I got in here is two of the elf sponges. They were on sale. I think it was like $5, $4, and I think um, they were given one. Yeah, if you buy anything from elf for files, you'll get one of these free. So I had to buy this. So I just said, you know what? I have three of these elf sponges. I haven't tried them. I hope they're good um, because I got some in backup. So, so they got it. They should be good for that price. You know, I'm not too upset about it. And then <laughs> I had to get this. This was the cutest little thing. It was just cute, and I wanted one. So. I didn't expect it to have that little troll on there that's probably going to need to come off, but I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, I thought this was cute, and the colors were cute, and it was on sale for $4. So I got me a little headband. Okay, the next thing in here, y'all like, girl, what a makeup. I ain't get that much makeup. I just got a couple, two things. I got me the Zoeva Concealer Brush. I have been wanting this brush forever it go in stock and then it will disappear it go in stock and then it stay out of stock and take forever for them to get it back so i finally got it and it's gonna go just perfect right here for putting in my concealer i'm trying to work with them little lines y'all i gotta get get rid of them they be messing up my my vibe when i be trying to be all cute and they be all raggedy with the lines under my eyes you know it, it ain't no good Okay, oh, I did get some lashes. I hope only one pair because I got too many. Oh, I did. I did the triple push up 3D mink, a uh, mink, a faux mink. I don't know, but they kiss couture. And I got the style in Teddy. Now, that was a cute. Aren't they cute, y'all? I'm gonna be blinking my eyes like this. <laughs> You know that look when you think you're just too cute to be moved? Yeah, yeah, that look. And the next thing I got in here, y'all, foundation. I finally got it back in my possession again. It's my Laura Mercier um, Double Wear Foundation. I said I wasn't going to buy any more foundation because I have two drawers of foundation, full drawers of foundation. But this has been out of my stock and in my hand for a really long time. So, I'm, it's just time to get it back. I won't be buying any other foundation. I was stuck between getting this one or the Synchro Skin Foundation, but I remember how good this was, but I forgot about it not having a pump. That's probably why I haven't bought it, but yeah. I got it in 6W1 Sandalwood. So, yeah. I got that back, and I'm happy to have it back. And the next thing here is, oh, I, oh yeah, I want to try this. Elf, I have the matte foundation by Elf. I don't have that hydrating foundation. Again, for the, I mean, concealer. I mean, I have the Elf matte concealer. I wanted to get the camouflage concealer, but I wanted to get the new hydrating one they came out with to hope, you know, They'll lessen these little folds of getting caught up in these little wrinkles and stuff under my eyes. You know. So, I grabbed that to try. 
And then the next thing I have here, this is the Essence My Skin Perfector Tinted Primer. I heard the reviews, not heard, I read the reviews on Ulta, and they were all really, really good. So when I saw it and it was in a deep skin tone, I was like, wait a minute, because that might, oh yes, if it's deep enough is what I was about to say. Then and, and as a primer, yeah, that'll already conceal. Yes, this is gonna do just what I want to do. I don't think it feels a little oily, but I don't know yet. It just feels a little slick. It's not oil. I don't know how. It feels slick. Like my hand is just gliding across there. This may be good. We're gonna have to play with this. Yes. I don't see any oil on my fingers. It's slick, but it's not oily. So I'm enthused by this. The Tinted Primer Instant Blur Effect Natural Matte Finish. That's what it says. We're going to have to play with this, y'all. And the last thing I got in here is this Loose Fix Powder. And it's still Essence. It's still Essence. So if I got the primer, I figured I'd... See what I'm talking about with these powders? This is why I have so many powders. I'm glad I didn't get the uh oh the powder and honey. Okay. Yeah. I was worried about the shade, but looks like they got the shade right. I don't know. That primer, I'm sold on that, that tinted primer. My hand feels like a baby booty. It's that soft. It's, it's just that soft. Okay, I'm I'm liking that primer. I really want to do my face again today. That's how I'm doing it. Oh, and there's one last thing in this box, and that's the Elf, I mean the Elf, <laughs> that's the Lash Freak by Urban Decay. No, I didn't need another uh, mascara. I really do enjoy my Thrive Cosmetics one. I got four superheroes that I have not opened, but I was so intrigued by this brush. It just made me want it. I don't know how. I've never had an Urban Decay mascara. I don't know how it would work. But the way this wand is made, I was like, ooh, I need to get that. Because it seemed like I could get right up on my arm. Uh, oh, put my eye out. Lord Jesus. Yes, I can get right up under there. I can get right up under there. Okay. All right. I'm going to play with it. If it's not too wet, I feel like it's wet. Because I can feel it on my bottom lashes. On my lower eye portion, when I blink, I can feel it. It's wet. That's going to be the downside about that. It feels like it's wet. Because, you know, if it's wet and I got hooded eyes, it will transfer. So, we'll see. I got it. So, we'll see how that works out for me. Okay, guys. I'm sorry this video was so long. But y'all know I be, I be talking too much, really. And uh, I'll let you guys know how this works out for me. All right. Y'all stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.